everyone, this is going to be the most rambling video to end all rambling videos. I am doing this video and I have a massive bag of stuff. This bag has been in my bathroom cabinet, um, cabinet, cupboard, for... When did we move back in? For over six months. And um, Mr. AMR is always like, why are you saving a bag of rubbish? He thinks I'm one of those hoarder people that you see on television. It's like, why are you saving your recycling? It's not, it's for my editing video. So uh, a very mixed bag of stuff today, literally. Uh, I've got things that I've forgotten, probably that I've even used. Stuff that I've recently finished that's in there. Um, kids stuff. Mm, don't think there's any men's stuff. Actually, there might be a couple of things that Mr. AMR's finished. Yeah, mixed bag, let's get started, because this could be hours. First thing, because this is lying right on the top, um, Child's Farm. Plowing through things from this brand. Uh, it's for babies, or children, and it's suitable for eczema prone skin, newborns and upwards. Just really love the formulas. They don't dry my... I always think if you put a baby bubble bath in, and then after you finish bathing them, your hands feel all shriveled and dry, that is not a great sign. Don't get that with these. Love the one that's the organic tangerine flavour. Bubble bath. Now, if you love Satsuma from the body shop, this is as amazing as that smell, but suitable for babies. So it's a winner, Child's Farm. A big winner. Oh my God, this took so long to finish. You know when you have a product in a bathroom and you're just like, I wasn't particularly inspired by it. It's the Orange Flower Botanical Body Wash from Lizelle. It's got quite a sort of um, herbally aromatherapy. No, do you know what it is? All I can smell in that is lavender. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Because I like lavender, but I don't really like it in my bath stuff. Body wash. Um, yeah, so this says orange flower, but to me that just smells of lavender. I'm glad I've worked that out, why I don't like it so many months afterwards. Anyway, Mr. AMR was using it and it just, it took about eight months, maybe even a year to finish that off. Um, this, Rawa. <laughs> How do you say it? Rao, Rawa. Uh, shower gel for healthy, luminous skin. Don't know how a shower gel would make your skin healthy and luminous. It contains Ungurahua Omega 9 and omega-3 plus quinoa molecules to penetrate deep into the skin, reducing signs of fatigue. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but it was fine. It was nice. God, this was so nice. But I felt so bad talking about this on my website. It's the Amora Vixa Hydra Melting Cleanser and it's something like 60 odd pounds for this cleanser. I would like to show you the inside and the fact that it had this beautiful cushiony pale blue gorgeous bouncy cleanser in it but I used every single last speck of this cleanser I just thought that it was beautiful it sort of went on as a gel balm type texture and then turned into this oil that you just massaged in and I loved the smell I loved the effects of it I thought it was amazing I started this when I was pregnant um, so I probably started it just over a year ago um, didn't use it every day by any means. It's the Restore and Replenish Cream Cleanser from Balance Me. Perfectly good. Um, quite light and creamy rather than that heavier balm texture. So if you prefer that, then that's fine. I think you can tissue this off. Yes, you can. You can use damp cotton pads to remove this rather than a flannel, but I always used a flannel. This is in at the top because I've just finished this. This is the second one I've finished. Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation from Chanel. It's just brilliant. I reckon I might get one more use out of that actually. I won't. I've been, <laughs> I've been using up every last dreg of this for about the last two weeks. Really like shaking it, turning it upside down, leaving it upside down. It is gone. I use shade 20. I will link to all of the reviews that I've done of this on my website because it's probably my number one most used foundation now. And this I've just finished as well. I've gone through these like the clappers. It's the Rose Soothing Protective Moisturiser from MV Organic Skincare. Um, I have probably been through three of these in my time and 
that is pretty good going considering all of the different products that I use. This is almost like my default reset, very natural, very pure, very gentle sort of moisturiser. And I used it a lot when I was pregnant, a lot when I had just had the baby and my skin was all over the place. I just find it a really good one for sort of rebalancing and resetting my skin. There is a tiny bit left in the bottom of here. I almost would love it if this was in a tube so that I could get the very bottom bits. I can't get the very bottom bits of that, which does depress me. It's not cheap, um, but maybe it will come in a tube soon. There's probably a reason it's not in a tube. It probably keeps it fresh or something in this, but um, I should get a big, long, pointy stick and get the rest of it out, shouldn't I? Philosicos shower gel from Diptyque. Again, it's just about the scent of this. Figgy, oh God, I love Velocicos. Um, just a nice figgy scent. It's not anything to do with the texture of the shower gel or what it does, you know, it's just shower gel with scent. So my makeup removers went through this so fast that it barely even landed in my cabinets. It was just out. This is the uh, Gentle Biface Eye Makeup Remover from Chanel. Never have I found one that actually doesn't if I'm doing lots and lots of makeup changes, it doesn't kind of irritate the skin under my eyes and make it all red and patchy. Because lots of them, even when they say they're gentle, how, do do that. I think there must be one ingredient that they all have in common that just sets something off and this doesn't have it in. Really what I should do is sit there and go through all the ingredients lists, but I don't have the time. Um, but yeah, this is by phase, so it's got the oily layer, sorry, and the liquidy layer, and you shake them together. A lot of them, if they're, especially if they're removing waterproof mascara, they need to have that oily phase in them to be able to break down um, the mascara, or the eyeliner, or whatever it is that you're using. But I just found this one was truly gentle and truly amazing. So um, that is actually, I'm just about to take a photo of it on my phone to remind me to get some more. That is truly very, very good, that one. This one is also good, the Body Shop Chamomile one, waterproof eye and lip makeup remover. Lip makeup remover. Um, a lot, lot cheaper. Not quite as not quite as effective, I don't think, but does a very, very decent job indeed. Can't complain about that at all. Can we talk about shampoo and conditioner that costs fifty pounds each, a bottle and tube? This is the Orbe. Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo and the Matching Conditioner. Now, I got these in one of those um, kind of gift with purchase bags, which is incredible when you think that together these cost 100 quid. It was a Net-a-Porter um, kind of customer gift thing. And, oh no, hold on. Was it a gift with purchase? I think you had to purchase the actual set, but this kind of was almost the you almost got it back with just the shampoo and conditioner. Anyway, these are really nice. Do you know what, they smell really nice. My hair felt gorgeous. But I just don't think that I could ever justify 100 pounds on a shampoo and conditioner. It didn't, it didn't look like it had been blow dried. You know, it wasn't like I washed it with this and then I didn't need to use a hair dryer and it just fell into place and looked amazing. Do you know what, if it did that and it looked like it had been blow dried every time I used it and I didn't need to get it blow dried, I didn't need to style it or anything, then maybe it'd be worth it um, because you wouldn't need to use very much at a time, blah, 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 blah. But as it stands, sorry, no, I don't think um, I've found any hair care product that is worth 50 pounds a tube, 50 pounds bottle. But you know, if you have cash to burn, literally cash to burn. It's nice, I've got no complaints about it. Another very expensive hair care range, um, but under half the price of that one, and I, I do love this, and I do find that it gives my hair um, a good gloss, but doesn't weigh it down. So if you've got very fine hair, it's beautiful, but again, so expensive. It's the Christoph Robin um, Rose Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner found that this gave very good bounce to my hair, kept it nice and light at the roots so it didn't weigh it down. 
and just smells amazing. And the cleansing is very gentle, doesn't feel like it strips the hair. And the conditioner, although it feels very light, it's very detangling and just gorgeous. You know, you don't get that cloyey feeling or any residue from it. It just all rinses very clean. And you think, oh, it's not really gonna do anything. It's gonna be rubbish. But um, if you've got fine hair, it does work very, very well. So I was impressed with that. Again, hideously expensive, sort of like 25 pounds or so. But nice, so nice. What have we got here? King of Shaves Shave Gel. Mr. AMR's obviously added his own things to this, thinking it was a recycling pile. Can't tell you anything about that because I didn't use it. Diptyque Radiance Boosting Powder for the face. I loved this and it took me so long to finish it and I kept thinking, oh bloody hell, when am I actually going to get to the end? In fact, there is still probably enough in there for half of a cleanse. It's a cleansing powder with sort of um, mild exfoliating properties. And it's a white powder, you put it into your hand, mix it with a bit of water and rub it in. Rinse it off and it's just lovely. It smells of roses. It feels like a really luxurious face treat. I just enjoyed using that so much. In fact, why haven't I done a post on that? That's going there to remind me. Really beautiful, that. There are cheaper ones on the market. The one from Indeed Labs is excellent and probably about half the price of this. Um, but I don't know, I shouldn't say this because it's skincare and it doesn't matter about the smell, but it just feels like such a gorgeous ritual using it that, um, go away. Sashran Hair Repair Conditioner. Lovely. I've written about this on the website before. It's just, you feel like it's not going to do anything. You put it through the lengths and you're like, yeah, whatever, that's not going to work. And then you rinse it out and your hair is really smooth, really detangled and just lovely. So um, I have another one of these full size in my office and I must remember to bring that in because that works really well. As does this, the Ojon, I don't know whether they sell this anymore because I haven't seen it around. The Rare Blend Protecting Treatment from Ojon and it's like a leave-in conditioner. I think you're actually supposed to use it before styling, but I just used it and then dried it naturally. Um, but it would work probably better as a protective spray for styling. Philosikos from Diptyque, just showing you the shower gel of this. This is the... Oh look, there's a couple of last spritzes in that. How lucky, in fact, What's that doing in there? This I rather enjoyed using. It's the Guerlain, oh it's got something horrible on it. Guerlain Meteorites um, Oxygen Care Moisturiser and Radiance Booster. I just thought it was a very lovely, lightweight, pre-makeup um, moisturiser. I didn't find it gave a particular glow, but it just left the skin looking really fresh and ready for makeup. I have to say, oh, something's leaked on top of it, that's gross. That my main draw to this moisturiser though was that it smells of Parma Violets. And I just found it such a joy to use, again, like the rose powder, that um, it was just the kind of thing that I wanted to reach for again and again because I really liked using it. My mum finished this off, Jasmine and Rose Hand Cream from Elemis. She loves it, loves it. Oh, it does smell nice, very exotic. Um, she said it's very good. She's an expert in hand creams. She uses them all the time. She has about 100 of them on the go at any one time. She has one in a car, one in a handbag. She's always putting it on. So I do trust her, she said it's very moisturizing and very good and non-greasy. What the hell was this? Oh yes, I did enjoy using this. Elemental Herbology Vital Cleanse Facial Cleanser. Good if you've got oily skin. Um, but you want something that's relatively gentle and that doesn't strip. So it's not a balm, it's more like a face wash than um, a balm cleanser or a cream cleanser. You know, you kind of lather it in, it doesn't really lather, but you rub it in and then you rinse it off. So you don't need a flannel, if you don't want to use a flannel, you can splash it off. And it leaves your skin feeling very fresh, but not stripped, which is what we all want. Bath time bath milk from 
bath time bath milk, love it. Showing my um, non-loyal accent there. Sometimes I say bath, sometimes I say bath. Path, path. Grass, grass. I'm really not fussed. Quite often, as you've just noted, I will use both um, types of pronunciation in one sentence. I'm not fussy. Anyway, bath time, bath milk. This was absolutely fine. I like this a lot. In fact, I kind of prefer it. This is a baby one again. I kind of prefer a milk to a bubble bath, but that's just because that's my personal preference. I think for kids, it's a lot more fun when there's bubbles. Pure baby oil from Neil's Yard Remedies. Ploughed through that, very lovely. It's got hair stuck to the bottom, which is pretty gross. That's what happens when you have a bag sitting around for six months. Philip Kingsley Moisture Balancing Shampoo. Didn't like this as much as Itchy Flaky. Doesn't suit my hair quite so much, but it was fine. Um, I really, really, really rate Philip Kingsley. Oh, this from Murad, Collagen Support Body Cream. <sighs> Do you know what, it was fine. Morning, Mr. Magpie. It smelled really nice, it had a fresh feel, um, but it's very expensive and I didn't notice any particular difference to my skin. They used to do, and I don't know whether they still do it, this brilliant kind of serum and cream duo for body firming and toning, and that was amazing. If they, It's so expensive, but if they still do that, I'll have a look and I'll put the um, link below. I thought that was brilliant and I saw a real difference to the texture of my skin, especially on thighs and bottom. I used to use it when I was properly in full pelt lingerie modelling mode. Um, and I used to use it on my tummy, hips and whatever. That was excellent. I don't know whether this is supposed to be kind of the replacement for it or maybe it's an addition to. But I didn't find it quite so good. Sorry, because I do like Murad products a lot. Um, and then finally this, Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. Can't even count how many of these I've gone through. It is totally wiped clean. I haven't even rinsed that. That's just me being... Let's get every last single drop out of the bottom. Ah, everything's fallen over. Do you know, I think that's it. That wasn't too bad, was it? How many minutes are we on? Um, so yeah, that was my empties video. I am now going to go and stick all of this in the recycling. In fact, it is recycling day and the bin men haven't been yet, so that's quite satisfying. I'm gonna go and stick it all outside and um, feel like I've done a bit of a cleansing thing. You know, when you just throw loads of stuff away and it feels really good. So I'm off to do that. I'm rambling now, I'll see you next time.